The last few months have been frustrating and reached its breaking point on the last episode. It left me wondering why we even do this? Why bother? But it's a new weekend, we are well rested, and it's time for a new adventure. Tomorrow we'll be taking on Spring Creek, a hard 8 rated trail with a challenging gatekeeper and dangerous shelf roads. At the start of the trail, you begin climbing an elevation, leaving I-70 behind in the distance. And less than a half mile into the trail, you come to the wall. A slick, off-camber, and steep wall of rock with three main lines. After repeated attempts on each line, we decided to winch. We should have recognized this ahead of time, but the physics of winching from this point would nearly lead to disaster. Jeez Louise. We decided to back off and reset, then winch up with the safer angle. The smoke is coming from oil overflowing due to the steep angle, and he's close to losing a tail light.
At this point, I'm asking myself, again, why do we do this? This seems like a lot. Which line did you decide to take? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. These small wins, they matter, a lot, but sometimes it doesn't come without paying a price. Was that, that wasn't like that. That wasn't like that. Yeah? Yeah. You rotated? Yeah. We dug in. So. Truthfully, I got lucky. But Ben, he still had to get up the obstacle. And luck would not be on his side. Someday I'll figure it out. Why bother with all of this? Why do we willingly subject ourselves and our vehicles to the rigors of exploration? Perhaps we are driven by a burning desire to seek adventure, to delve deeper into the unknown 
immersing ourselves in the struggles and challenges faced by those who came before us. shaft and exposed shelf rope. Past that, the challenges are non-stop. We're nearing the end of the rock garden when I slide off a rock, landing me in a precarious position. Backing up would take out the tail light, and moving forward would crush the fender. You need to back up so you can hook on the wedge? Negative, I cannot back up. Okay. I can turn around and come down, and we can hook a winch onto your rear and pull you over a little bit. Parker. That yeah, that'll probably work. Uh, I'm like, oh, rock garden, that sounds fun. <laughs> right? That's not going to be a big deal at all. So this goes through here, knot up, get your slack. Yeah. Why do we always find ourselves doing this to me? <laughs> Okay. 
good. Weird. I've never seen a me neither a wedge line come disconnected from the drum. I mean that bolt came out. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll turn mine around. We'll. Okay. So we Yeah, you're good. Moments like these, maybe this is why we do this. In the quest for the answer to this question, I realize that it's not just one thing. It's multiple things. It's the friendships, the teaching, the sharing, the thrill of the climb, and the agony of defeat. As we left, the rain and snow started to fall. We enjoyed another evening in the mountains and a wonderful dinner from our friends Ben and Crystal. The next morning, we packed up and headed out. On this adventure, we found what we are looking for, but there are many questions left that remain to be unanswered. <laughs>